The first detonation was back there at the pickup and drop-off point. The force of the blast ripped apart the tarmac. Authorities have now shielded that. They're barricading that from public view. But the blast traveled, you can see, all the way back here, where it ripped open the glass walls of the arrivals hall, ripping the ceiling tiles out. And this is what was raining down on the heads of those terrified passengers attempting to flee for their lives. And on the ground, round our feet, are still shards of glass from that impact. Through the doors where you can see now passengers lining up to catch their flights. This is where passengers yesterday ran out screaming, tracking bloody footprints as they attempted to save themselves and those they love. Turkey has been reeling for months now from a series of terror attacks, and that is why they're working so hard to try and put this airport back together, to try and return to some semblance of normality. And as the Turkish president and prime minister said when they addressed their nation, not allow those who would seek to disrupt who would seek to terrify to win. Ne'mar Baghev, CNN, Istanbul.